Hey folks, Cerny here, Trader of Futures. Hold on, I got to respond to this. This is guy that's saying, I understand the tech. He's talking about blockchain. I understand the technology through and through. Can you define blockchain for me, please? Don't patronize me. I've been in tech for forty years. Been chief technologist of a Fortune fifty. There's I know the tech better than you will ever know it. Sorry, I just had to blast somebody. All right, how do you make money? And isn't it fun when you can make a lot of money? And the reason why I put that out there, the reason why I am so excited right now is the performance of the AI, the embodiment, the alert system that I've exposed to you guys for the past nine months and just recently pulled it back for subscribers only. And today was a wonderful day because in the past two days, three days, if you had taken the embodiment's trades, you have you would have made enough to, oh, I don't know, do pay for three years of the service. <laughs> Three years easily on single contract trades. Yeah, you would have made about three thousand bucks. So that's even more than three years of the service. So yeah, it's been pretty pretty cool. Um, so since putting the tr putting the service out there, actually charging money for it instead of giving away everything for free like I have been for the past nine months. Uh, I think that uh, every trade that has that has um, been triggered has hit. So we're working on 100%, but I don't expect that at all going forward, obviously. Uh, this has shown, I think, um, quite reliably to everybody that has been following this, about 85% win rate with an incredible return on capital or return on the capital used. Let's, let's put it in terms of the amount of margin that you'd have to put up for any one contract, like today with silver. What is the cost of putting on a uh, silver contract? And in order to find that out, what we need to do is go to the CME group, and I'm going to do that right now and show you what the cost of putting on silver right now is. So we go to the cmegroup.com. Uh, and uh, they are the stewards of most of the, well, actually, they're the biggest exchange of, of futures contracts in the world. They're actually the biggest market in the world, bar none. There is nothing bigger. Trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars are all tied up in these futures contracts. So, man, you talk Bitcoin. <coughs> I say that to Bitcoin. The futures market is where it's at. That's where the big boys play. Not in the sandbox of you crypto babies. All right. So where were we? We're going to take a look at uh, silver, right? So we'll go to metals. And SI for silver right there. SI, silver futures contracts. What we're looking for are the margin. Now, this is the overnight margin of uh, $3,600. So in other words, you would have to have... $3,600 in your account to hold a silver contract overnight. Now, the initial margin is quite a bit less, but you always have to plan for at least your overnight margin. That's that's what's most important. So we had two trades in the um, in, uh, two successive trades, Monday and then one for Monday and one for today. Now, both have done fairly well both have done fantastically well so why don't we take a look at that so now we know how much the trade will cost us to hold it overnight thirty six hundred dollars so we'd have let's say we had a ten thousand dollar account you and uh, you 
you did one of these silver contracts. Forget about the other trades that also made money. Forget about them. <laughs> yeah, just forget about those. Yeah, you made a crap load there too, but let's just do this one. One out of, I don't know, four or five trades that have made money in the past two or three days. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to um, go and show you the setup and what that looks like. <clears throat> right there. All right, so um, this, I'll, I'll make it bigger so you can see it. This one down in the middle, make it wider too. All right, so uh, this was the first trade here. It was, uh, both of them are shorts in silver. And uh, this was released Sunday night to take a short if it were to uh, come up to 1477 and uh, so we did that and uh, I act we had put this as a target of 1455 now let me say something about targets let me say something about targets that's very important just because we put a target that doesn't mean that that's where it's gonna go targets are the um, one standard deviation uh, percentile. In other words, it's about 70 percentile probability that if you were enter enter this trade, that's where within the next four days, that's where it would likely end up. All right. Now, so that's why we give targets to give you something to you know look at the relative performance. Doesn't mean that that's where it's going to go. Anyways, uh, I get out of this one because it seems to be uh, overdone here. Um, right around this area here, about 40, 1466, I believe it was. So that was a nice, a nice winner, the first one. And then last night, we had the second silver. So we had two silver shorts, one on top of the other, this one at a higher level. So that was another reason for me getting out, seeing that I got some, um, uh, some good profit out of this one, plus the system really predicting that we're going to get a, a short term short term rise and then short from that area. So the area to short from that we received last night was 1486 or approximately there. Man, it shot right up there. And uh, and then that's where you would have got in. All you had to do is just set your stop limit. <clears throat> would have got in. And, would have, and right now you'd be up from 1486 down to 1469. It's almost 30 points there. And what was this one here? Uh, 1477, and I, I get out around here, 1466. So that's a another 11 points, so 41. Let's see, 1477, 66, that's 11. And this one was 83 to, so it's 20. So about 30, 30 plus points now silver ticks each so that's 30 plus ticks I should say um, each tick hold on a second here each tick on uh, the silver futures contract is worth about $25 so let's see this is just in a day and a half Uh, 25 times 33. Oh, you would have made about $825. Not bad. Not bad on a $3,600 contract. Right by $3,600. So it's about 23% on your capital put to work. So a 23% return in one day. That's right, 23% return in one day. Now, we're not done yet. Um, I think silver has a good chance to go down a little bit further. And it will probably end up being about a 25% return on your capital. Not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, we had other trades going on, too, at the same time that made money, like the Swiss franc. It did really well. Made about four or $500. 
So uh, let's see, what is the uh, Swiss franc margin? That's an FX of foreign exchange. Why isn't it listed here? Let's look it up. There it is. Margin on a Swiss franc is fifteen hundred dollars. Is that true? Yeah, about fifteen hundred bucks. Not bad. All right, so the Swiss franc we made about um, I don't know four hundred. So um, four hundred divided by fifteen hundred. So that's about a twenty-seven percent uh, return on capital. Not bad. So look at this in uh, term now. How do you make money, and why is money ma you know making money so much fun? Because if you start understanding what your edge is, uh, what your approximate, um, you know, return on capital, what your potential for profit is. If you understand these things, and if you're, if you know that a system is about 80, 85 percent uh, win rate, and your average return on capital is, say, 25, 26 percent, now you understand exactly where where you're heading to, how much money you can put to work, and be almost determinate at, as to uh, what you will make on average per trade. Now, there's no way to tell how much you're going to make because you don't know how many trades there are going to be, how few trades there are going to be. But let's say that on average you're getting about, I don't know, a trade a day, sometimes more than that. Yeah, sometimes a lot more than that. And let, let's say, let's just say, five trades a week, five trades a week. You can figure out, well, how much capital do I need to put if I need 25%, you know, 25 of uh, my working capital is going to turn into profit 80% of the time. You can work all that backward and figure out how much do I have to deploy and how often do I have to take trades. And over the long term, you should start uh, averaging out and heading towards that kind of deterministic thing. Now, there'll be ups and downs sometimes it'll be better sometimes it will be worse but that is that is kick-ass trading that my friend is kick-ass trading that's a kick-ass way to make money and you know there are going to be times when you veer off course i did that just recently and um did something held on to something for a little bit but it's coming back so i'm not really worried about it and I just keep on plugging, 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 doing these trades. And over the long term, it's going to be nice. So understanding your, your, um, your return on capital, your, per, your uh, probability of profit will determine your edge. Knowing how many trades that you have to put, how much money that, uh, that you need to put to work in order to achieve certain goals. Uh, putting all, this all in the context of a much larger system is what I do and it's also what I teach in uh, in the coaching uh, but having a, a system like this the AI setup the embodiment as another adjunct or even your primary uh, trading methodology I mean, it, it is just indispensable what I need to do because this business is really new is build up more and more customers we'll get you know, hundreds of customers, hundreds, 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 and then this system will live on. Be a shame for this thing to go away and then take it away from people. Really would. I mean, I want to build this up so that we have hundreds of people that are taking advantage of this. This is how you make money. All right. Let's see, I, I think there's a chat. There is a chat involved with this. Let's see if we can get to that.
Ernie, do you have equities set up in your trade alerts? Yeah, we do, but um, the first two days that we were looking at equities, we haven't seen any equity trades yet. So they'll, they'll come, they'll come. But we're including that all with the, the same cost. So you'll get futures, Forex, and equities all within the same service. Can't promise that there'll be an equal amount of equities to futures. The futures have um, more opportunities, quite frankly, and they're um, a, a uh, easier asset to trade, far less restrictive. You can trade with smaller accounts. You have much higher leverage. I mean, and from a tax point of view, your profits are way better. Your uh, profits are taxed differently with futures than they are with equities. Um, so yeah, it just has it all over equities, but equities will be included and I'll start talking about how to trade those equities with options and that will put you in a slightly better relation than just trading the straight out stock. So uh, Mr. Binary says, of course, making money is fun. I know you're bashing cryptos because you're smart and you want the market to crash because you're going to put a shitload of cash and buy in. I know your game. Well, first of all, I have no power to crash the market on my own. I wish I had that kind of power. That would be really cool. But uh, no. So Ali asks, is there any stop loss? No, there is no stop loss. I mean, we all have our, our own risk management that we employ, but uh, there's no specific stop loss on any of these trades. And that doesn't mean that – now, it's more of a time stop. So I guess that would be it. If it doesn't work out after four days, we, we get rid of it. If it gets uh, beyond a couple of standard deviations of where it should be, we get rid of it. But there's no specific stop loss. And that's because we employ something, a strategy that I've been talking about ad infinitum, and that is multiple non-correlated strategies. Now, we send out all these alerts, and you're thinking, ah, oh, they're just sending out alerts. What's the strategy? There's actually and literally hundreds, even thousands of strategies that are being applied to these alerts. So, and I can guarantee you that the correlation between them all from one to the next is very low. So that's how we, that's, that's how we control our risk is by uh, putting a, a number of these trades on, sometimes long, sometimes short, and having a bunch of these on tend to hedge one another because they are non-correlated. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that is our risk strategy, basically. I have other strategies that I'm doing that are uncorrelated to this as well, like I have a pairs trade with uh, treasury futures. I have another pairs trade with um, uh, agriculture and also with energy. There will be other options trades that I'll make that will be specific to the cannabis industry. You know, on and on. So there's a multitude of strategies, all non-correlated with one another, that are traded all the time. That is how we control risk. Con trying to control risk on any individual trade is a fool's game. There isn't a single professional trader out there that thinks that is the way you make money. Managing your portfolio at that level is far smarter. News unit, 3960. What was that? What is 3960 news unit? I don't know. All right, I got to pop out this chart, this chat. Where do you buy the contracts? CME website? No, no, you can get them from virtually any broker that uh, supports futures, you know, like TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, uh, TradeStation, Interactive Broker, Infinity Futures, Charles Schwab. You know, you could go on and on and on and on. There's literally hundreds of, uh, of brokers out there, probably your broker, that, uh, that will open up a futures account for you. Um, yep, get into futures. Usually it doesn't require much more than $5,000 to open an account. Of course, I would recommend having more than that just to start off. You're going to want, you know, 10, 20, 25,000 or something like that. Um, 
you know, you don't want to put yourself at, in a disadvantage where you might have a lot of different trades on and you could have some ups and downs. So you just don't want, want to do that. So you want to have plenty of room. Oh. Partner. Yes, sir. I am. But that, that's okay. What's up? Silver is at the low of the session right now. Right. So you're thinking that uh, now's a good time maybe to uh, take those profits. Well, you know, it'd be even stupider rather than losing money on that trade would be not taking the trade at all. Yeah, and I fit into that category because I missed the second one. Yeah. So so both both triggers hit within a few pennies of uh, of the entry that we posted in in the alerts. Unbelievable. Yeah. Thanks, man. Bye. So that was my partner. We were just talking about the two silver trades that um, both targets, both entry targets or both entries uh, were within just pennies of the actual call of where they went. They didn't, uh, in other words, they didn't go much over, just a couple pennies and then they turned right around. Unreal. This embodiment program, this uh, neural net, this artificial intelligence, and and the way it works is really, really spectacular. And it's not like you know normal. You have to understand that what it's predicting isn't like trades. What it's predicting is um, where it thinks things are moving, uh, what patterns are evolving, uh, which ones are have the most likelihood of evolving and then the subsequent move after that. So it, it looks at what it thinks that, um, and, and, and so we put these trades out into the future. It's not like we pick a point right here and say, okay, enter here and then target that. No, nothing like that. It's, it's like looking at a bunch of different scenarios then it gives us a, this sort of probabilistic mapping and then we kind of translate that into what might be an entry and now, I would say about, I don't know, 60% of the trades, the setups that we put out there actually get hit. In other words, they trigger. Some, they just go away. The, the situation never happens. Uh, but that's okay. But then 85% of those that do trigger make money, make really good money. And they seem to trigger all like, man, they were just hitting the highs and the lows. I don't know how it does it. It's really weird. So last, uh, yeah, do you buy contracts at the CME? No, the CME is actually the, um, the exchange that provides these contracts to all the different brokers. The CME is the biggest exchange in the world. There is nothing that is even remotely close <laughs> by, I mean, we're talking, um, I don't know, $30 trillion exchange. Maybe bigger, maybe much bigger when you think about it. I don't know. Yeah, it must be bigger. Do you still see a bear flag on SPY hourly given today's move? Did I see a bear flag on SPY hourly given today's move? I, did I see a bear flag on the SPY hourly? I don't remember ever saying that. Did I say that? I don't think I ever mentioned anything like that. I mean, no. <laughs> Looks like uh, volumetric principle number two playing out. Possibly. One thing that's really interesting is that if you watch all the setups that um, the AI, the embodiment, puts out there, they seem to coincide very nicely with volume profile principles. 
uh, the high value nodes and low volume wells and the areas of support and resistance and the targets and all that other stuff seems to fall right within that kind of paradigm. It's very, very interesting. And yet the embodiment knows nothing about volume profile. That's weird. That is really weird. Akara, hey Ernie, I have never traded in futures. So what is the minimum capital I would need? And will you show us how to trade them? Of course, I'll show. They're, they're just as easy to trade as, as stocks, except that the fact that they have about 40 times more leverage. <laughs> and you don't have the day trade rule. You can actually open up an account with a much smaller account than, than you can with stocks. Stocks, generally, you need at least $25,000 so you don't get caught in the, the day trade rule and become a violator of, of, or be a day trader, label a day, because then they can close your account for 90 days if they de determine you're, you're a pattern day trader. With, um, with futures, you don't have any of that. They have no such rule. You could day trade all you want. You could do a thousand trades in a day, in an hour if you wanted to. Can you buy fractions of the contract uh, from the broker? No, although there are mini contracts or micro contracts. There are minis and micros and full size contracts. Um, they don't have micros for all of them. There are some services that allow you to do kind of a proxy service like um, Simple FX, where you can trade very small versions of it. But um, in general, you're going to probably need about a Ten to twenty-five thousand uh, dollar account to start. Uh, with a ten thousand, I would be, you know, a little bit selective. There may be a few types of contracts that, that you might not want to get into, only because of the margin cost might be a little bit rich, and uh, that would exclude, you know, one out of you know twenty trades or something like that. And uh, and and then and then take uh, your profits quick. It would be with a small account. It would be a, a quick way to build up a small account. Bigger accounts, then you can start thinking more strategically. All right. So if you want to sign up for this service, go down below, go to my website, traderfutures.com. It's right there. There is an option if you want to uh, get a whole year at a time, you get uh, two months off. So these two trades that I just talked about, the two um, silver trades, which doesn't include the other trades that were also winners, would have paid for this entire year of the service. It's as simple as that. Would have paid for the entire year. Then you're trading for free or trading, getting signals these type of signals for free. Hmm. And then there's going to be equities, so uh, that should spark your interest. With the equities, I'm going to um, include a, an options course, and of course, we'll be providing support for people. With options, you'll be able to um, very accurately define your risk and put to work this whole probability of profit, return on capital, defined risk. Very, very cool. I mean, we could, in fact, um, also, why did I get 15 thumbs down on this? That is weird. There are some very, very strange characters out there. I think we got some trolls. So, you guys that are listening now, go click the, um, the thumbs up. We got to combat this. Fifteen thumbs down. Wow, I haven't seen so many thumbs down all at once. There are people out there that are just mean. <laughs> Quarterly crypto. Oh, you want a quarterly crypto payment. All right. So, Allie, for you, I am going to put up there a quarterly crypto payment. You can buy fractions of the contract from the... Okay, I already read that. 
You mean the owner of YouTube? Yeah. I, I don't know. There, there are people out there that are just haters. Uh, that's what it comes down to. They just hate. But I, I will um, I will create crypto payments. I already have a page up there for it. Um, I just need to create the link. So uh, just give me until the end of the day, and we'll have that for you. All right, man? All right, or woman, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. I can't tell gender. <laughs> um, yeah, doggone haters. I That's the first time I've seen that in a long time, or all those thumbs down. That's really weird. I, I got a whole bunch of thumbs down on this video, and it's the first time I've seen that in a long time. No, no, it's just talking about, uh, you know, trading. But uh, there's somebody out there that uh, it was like a coordinated thing. There must have been people that just sort of pounce on it. Well, I'm doing it right now. I'm actually doing the video. I'm live talking to you. I'm live. <laughs> Bye, wife. Yeah, and then another thumbs down. Wow, the thumbs down are winning. That's unbelievable. Who is out there? Who, If you're giving a thumbs down, why don't you have the balls, whether you're a man or woman, trying to make that sort of gender neutral here. We're not politically correct, by the way. Why don't you have the balls to at least comment and tell me why you put a thumbs down? Expose yourself for the measly weasel that you are. Please do that for me. Of course, Gabrielle Garza, we love making money. Money's freaking awesome. It's all what you do with that money. But why... Would there be so many people with a thumbs? Usually I get maybe one or two thumbs down and then like a hundred, you know, 80, 100, 200 thumbs up. But here, we're only, I've got 16 thumbs down and 13 thumbs up. That is, that is crazy. I don't know what to make of that. Well, I do know what to make of it. There are trolls out there. They're watching right now. I'm speaking to you. You are the ball sacks that have no courage whatsoever to put up a salient argument. That's because you're brainless. You have nothing between these ears. Nothing. YouTube is churning you. It could be. It could be. Maybe it's from the first statement on the blockchain question. Chinese click farm. Maybe it's from the first statement in the blockchain question. Um, do you mean like the earlier, the video I did earlier? Or Tone Vey's followers? No, Tone Vey's doesn't strike me as the type of person that would have followers go out and um, attack somebody. And, you know... If I were talking about him, I doubt that he would even mention it on his show. So, at least I don't think so. Come on, click the thumbs up. If you're out there, click, look. There's 24 watching. That means that um, there's a bunch of trollers watching. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's, that's all I've got uh, for today. I just wanted to tell you about the alerts, the AI, the artificial intelligence, the embodiment, and uh, how cool it is. I think uh, later on I'll, I'll talk a little bit about making money to, um, you know, outside of trading, if that interests you. You know, how do you make money online, for instance? I've been doing it for a long time. And uh, I've done pretty well. I mean, I've uh, done pretty good six-figure income uh, for the past six years. And uh, that's good. Um, 
it's you know there's some work involved. I can uh, I'd be happy to share some of those secrets with people. After attacking with AT and T, we're attacking with red thumbs. <laughs> All right. Look, now we we just beat the thumbs down. Now we're 17 thumbs up, 16 thumbs down. You guys are the best. The best. <laughs> All right. We've reached the limit. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.